Wow, what a two days we've had. Um, Honorable Telanga Sumatipala, Deputy Speaker of Parliament and the Chairman of the Select Committee of Parliament on the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. Uh, distinguished representatives uh, from government, academia, and other partner organizations, colleagues from the public and private sector, civil society, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, of course, once again, it gives me great pleasure to be here with you at the end of what I consider to be a very successful, groundbreaking, innovative two days to discuss a topic uh, data for SDGs that don't always seem to be the most exciting of topics. But one of the things that I've felt, um, both sitting here in the room with you for much of these two days, uh, but also following what's happening on Twitter and social media, is that this topic of data and SDGs has actually created quite a bit of buzz. Uh, positive buzz and energy. Uh, and, and I've been feeling it um, as, as many of the discussions go beyond just the four walls of this room and between our tables or through pigeonhole. Uh, we've learned about some very exciting new things. So yes, it's been a very exciting two days, um, a lot of learning coming out uh, of what can happen with not just how better to capture data, but also how it should be made user-friendly going forward. So not just for the producers, but also for the users of data when it comes to the SDGs. We've discussed many of the challenges. Uh, we had an anthropologist saying, how do you actually capture people's views? Uh, I remember yesterday, uh, you had, of course, the Department of Statistics and Census talking about what is possible, methodologically speaking, in terms of capturing data, and the vast number of indicators, and the need to make prioritized, localized decisions on which indicators and how to actually go about capturing that information. So, you did hear about the challenges in doing so, qualitative, quantitative, inclusive, transparent, methodologically sound, using big data, using open data. You've heard a lot of, of this stuff. But what I really do hope happened was also that you felt inspired by what you learned about. Um, I certainly learned quite a bit. I think the examples that we heard from um, the lab in Indonesia, which I was here yesterday, the Jakarta lab, was, was quite interesting as to how it can help answer uh, and use data and its limitations as well. So I hope you leave also thinking and feeling inspired about the realm of data possibilities going forward, both traditional, both non-traditional and innovative. So the next step, of course, is on us uh, and not only us sitting in this room, uh, we're the start, of course, but also outside, reaching out to many of the people of the country to also become engaged in both the capture and the use of data. It's not just about data for a policymaker who goes to New York and then you know gives a report. It's the process that accompanies also collecting that data that is extremely crucial and important. So I really encourage you to come together with this common approach to the process and also a common vision about collecting the data for Sri Lanka. We've heard about this being the lifeblood of decision making, but I want to reiterate again, of course it's important, decision makers might be policy makers, but just as much the decision makers are the practitioners and the ordinary people uh, living, breathing, and contributing to Sri Lanka's development on a daily basis. Um, what's next? You've part, been part of the discussions going forward, um, and around online monitoring tools to host data, uh, to streamline the coordination and monitor implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. You've seen also the proposed prototype, we were just listening to that and this morning, and you have provided your inputs. Uh, and I just want to say that uh, certainly I've talked to my colleagues in the UN system and others, they're really highly valued, your inputs that came through your discussions, um, and, and they will be incorporated and, and reflected going forward. So the data road, so to speak, ahead, seems, I hope, 
relatively somewhat clearer than it was when you started this symposium yesterday morning. And now we have to travel this road go ahead. Um, travel this data road. And as we know about roads, there's always speed bumps, there's sometimes diversions. Um, so we have to be cognizant that it's not necessarily going to be the smoothest road going forward. But we also know, and I think I would really encourage you um, to keep the vision that that road leads to something. It leads to a journey, I mean, it re leads to the 2030 destination of a sustainable Sri Lanka. So I hope you keep, keep that at the bottom, or at the heart of, of work going forward as well, uh, to where this ro road, the data road, is leading uh, Sri Lanka. So I'm going to end here by uh, doing something that's also extremely important, which is to say a big, huge thank you, uh, especially uh, recognizing uh, the Honorable Telanga Sumatipala, uh, who has had the vision and also the drive working very closely with the UN family uh, and others uh, through his um, portfolio to host this first symposium, to set the baseline, I suppose we've been talking data, to set the baseline of where we are in terms of the data road ahead. So thank you, uh, Honorable uh, Sumatipala, uh, for your leadership in this regard. And uh, please be reassured, uh, everyone here, that the UN family appreciates very much this initiative uh, of the parliament, but also the Ministry of Sustainable Development and Wildlife, um, and also the initiative that we believe that many of you will be leaders in moving forward uh, after this, uh, this symposium comes to an end. So really a lot of thanks also uh, in advance uh, very much to members of civil society here, uh, those in academia, uh, research organizations, uh, and, and practitioners out there working with the people of Sri Lanka towards the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, I also really do want to thank also the organizers within the UN country team. They've been working round the clock, and I think we've seen so much innovation in the way this has been conducted. Uh, I certainly, I think many of us will go back and hopefully use some of these innovations, whether it's uh, tech tools or fabulous videos uh, and, and to create the kind of energy and passion needed uh, to go forward on this journey. So thank you very much and I believe together we can do it. Thank you.